Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to do a review about this big book. It's called Crazy Cat, the Complete Color Sundays, 1935-1944. As with all Tushin books, they're beautifully printed with great layouts. This is the XXL version of the book and comes with a cardboard keepsake box with a handle. It's also great protection for the book. This volume presents all the Crazy Cat Color Sunday stories from 1935 until 1944 and a detailed introduction by comic expert Alexander Brown who illuminates Harriman's multi-ethnic background and reveals what makes this timeless work of art about a queer cat so extraordinary. I already have the entire collection of Crazy Cat Sundays, spanning from 1913 until 1944. I collected them over time. The series was first published by Eclipse Publishers and then Fantagraphics continued the series. But why should you buy something you already have? It is the size. The Sundays were published in the newspaper. This book comes close to the original size they were published in. So what is Crazy Cat all about? Crazy Cat is a cat that lives in the Coconino Valley with other citizens. The main characters are Crazy Cat, a gender fluid cat. Ignitz, a hostile mouse that hates Crazy Cat and always throws a brick at its head. And Officer Pup, a dog that tries to protect Crazy Cat and locks up Ignitz each time he throws a brick. It's actually a love triangle between these characters. The premise is always the same and George Harriman managed to make new comics with this theme for over 30 years. Crazy Cat has been one of my favorite comics. I have collected many books of Crazy Cat and even read the biography about George Harriman. I started to notice Crazy Cat through an interview with Walt Kelly, the creator of Pogo Comic. He was inspired by the art of Crazy Cat and used the whimsical and absurd humor of Crazy Cat. He was not the only one that got inspired by the art of George Harriman. Because of the strange dialect and sometimes poetic nature of the comic, it became a favorite by artists like Picasso, Jack Kerouac and Willem de Koning. The comic was also a big inspiration to comics artist Patrick McDonnell of the comic Mutts. But Crazy Cat was not loved by the general public because it was too experimental and weird. It was thanks to media tycoon William Randolph Hearst, a confirmed fan, who gave Harriman carte blanche. Harriman unabashedly took advantage of this, radically exploring the medium's potential and pushing all of its formal boundaries. Readers had to put up with surreal, Dadaist sceneries and language that world slang, neologisms, phonetic spelling and scholarly references and diffuse gender roles, making Crazy Cat probably the first gender fluid star in comic history. The first comics of Crazy Cat were published in 1913 as a daily comic and on Sundays as a full page comic in the comic section of the newspaper. In these Sunday pages, Harriman thrived and experimented with layouts and other extraordinary visual solutions to tell the story. Especially in the beginning of the Sundays were an exploration of the comic form. This book shows the last nine years of the Sunday comics. They are less experimental but still a joy to read and enjoy. Tushin has printed the pages on an off-white paper and have painstakingly restored the original Sundays and used beautiful blow-ups of some panels to show the sheer beauty of the art of George Harriman. Tushin is one of my favorite publishers. They make awesome books and especially this book about Crazy Cat. Uh, 
is just wonderful. And if you want to buy the book, I'll leave links in the description box down below. There are affiliate links to the Amazon stores. And if you buy um, the book, I'll get a small percentage. And this helps me, you know, to make more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.